Thousands of athletes are set to sail through central Paris on Friday during an unprecedented and high-risk Olympics opening ceremony that will showcase the country's hugely ambitious vision for the Games. The parade on Friday evening will see up to 7,500 competitors travel down a 6-kilometer stretch of the River Seine on a flotilla of 85 boats. Compared to the COVID-blighted 2020 Tokyo Olympics, which was delayed by a year and opened in an empty stadium, the Paris show will take place in front of 300,000 cheering spectators and an audience of VIPs and celebrities from around the world. The lineup of performers is a closely guarded secret, but US pop star Lady Gaga and French Malayan singer Aya Nakamura, the most listened to French speaking singer in the world, are rumored to be among them. It will be the first time a Summer Olympics has opened outside the main athletic stadium, a decision fraught with danger at a time when France is on its highest alert for terrorism. For months, organizers have been dogged by questions about whether they would need to scale back or move the procession, but they have insisted throughout that there is no plan B. A huge security perimeter has been erected along both banks of the Seine, guarded round the clock by some of 45,000 police and paramilitary officers who will be on duty on Friday evening. Another 10,000 soldiers are set to add to the security blanket, along with 22,000 private security guards. Police snipers are set to be positioned on every high point along the route of the river convoy, which is overlooked by hundreds of buildings. An assassination attempt on US presidential candidate Donald Trump on July 13 has only focused minds further. The Israeli and Palestinian teams will be given extra protection with tensions caused by Israel's offensive in Gaza where nearly 40,000 people are estimated to have died already spilling into the Games. Organizers will be on guard against fresh protests on Friday evening after the Israeli football team's first match on Wednesday was marked by the waving of Palestinian flags and booing of the Israeli anthem. The opening ceremony is likely to define the mood for the rest of the Games which organizers have pledged will be iconic. Around 3,000 dancers are set to perform from the banks of the river and nearby monuments, including the Notre Dame Cathedral, in a show that will promote diversity, gender equality and French history. The landmarks and architecture of the City of Light, one of the world's best-loved destinations, is set to feature as a backdrop both to Friday night's show and much of the sport afterwards. Paris's vision is for a more cost-effective and less polluting Olympics than previous editions, with competitions set to take place at historic locations around the French capital.